All right, everyone, so that's the end of today's class. There is one more important announcement that involves this week's midterms. So as you can see here, these are the percentages that detected AI in last week's essays. Now, since you guys want to act up in my class and find methods of cheating, I guess we're going to have to take this week's midterm in class and on paper. Any questions? Class dismissed. I can't believe he's making us do that. I know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I wish AI was never invented. You know what? I think you should have regulations. Hi, my name is Kayla, and I'll be your host for today's episode. Welcome back to Should It or Should It Not? Whether we like it or not, artificial intelligence is taking over our lives. Now, up until now, many people could only perform specific things, whether they had government-issued license, certifications, or even extensive knowledge. But that's not the case anymore. Now, first of all, what is artificial intelligence? Now, artificial intelligence, also known as AI, can be defined in many different ways. However, one specific way is machines being able to perform tasks. Many prominent figures in the tech world, such as Bill Gates, Elon Musk, have voiced their opinion on the long-term effects of AI. So, but all regulations start with a perceived danger, and planes fall out of the sky, or food causes botulism. Yes. I don't think the average person yes. playing with AI on his iPhone perceives any danger. Can you just roughly explain what you think the dangers might be? Yeah, so the, 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 the danger, uh, really, AI is um, perhaps uh, more dangerous than, say, mismanaged uh, aircraft design or production maintenance or, or, or b bad car production, uh, in the sense that it is, it has the potential, uh, however small one may regard that probability, but it is non-trivial. It has the potential of civilizational destruction. <laughs> There's movies like Terminator, but I, it wouldn't quite happen like Terminator, um, because the, the intelligence would be in the data centers. Right. Uh, the robot's just the end effector. But I think perhaps uh, what you may be alluding to here is that um... the government will soon need to regulate the rise of AI. If not regulated now, can be catastrophic. The government will soon struggle in autonomy, regulation, and foreseeable causations due to not regulating AI. However, these issues that are foreseeable can be avoided if the government does decide to regulate AI. However, there are critics that do say otherwise. What do you mean by incorporating safety features? And doesn't AI already have safety features? Why would we need more? Critics might say that if we do regulate AI, it would slow down the development of new AI solutions, which would then leave the United States behind in international competition. However, that is a common misconception. With the idea of regulating AI, again, we are not trying to ban AI or completely restrict it. Instead, we should definitely provide some sort of incentive for AI systems to incorporate safety features. There have been a multitude of cases where AI has not been the safest, most being human-related risk. A common and popular use of AI is to spread misinformation or to create deep fakes. A deep fake is a manipulation of facial appearance through deep generated methods. Now, not only is this or the population at risk, but deep fakes as well as plagiarism, and it is a common form of AI used for plagiarism, is the automatic human like text, also known as ChatGPT. Alrighty, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and make sure to tune in for next week. But other than that, that has been Should It or Should It Not Happen. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. 
I think AI should be regulated.